Yesterday, Jared Kushner said the notion of the federal stockpile was it's supposed to be our stockpile. It's not supposed to be state stockpiles that they then use. What did he mean by our? Oh, what are you asking? And I mean, it, yeah. even the fact that taxpayers from What's every that? state gotcha. pay for gotcha. it. No, it's not gotcha. Our. Our, you know what our means? United States of America. That's what it means. It means the states. Our. Our. It means the United States of America. And then we take that our and we distribute it to the states. So why did you not say that we it's have not to. supposed to be state stockpiles that they then Because use. we need it for the government and we need it for the federal government. But to when the states, the states are in trouble, no, to then also you're keep. giving it to if it's not to the states. To keep, to keep for our country because the federal government needs it too, not just the states. But out of that, we oftentimes choose, as an example, we have almost 10,000 ventilators, and we are ready to rock with those ventilators. We're going to bring them to various areas of the country that need them. But when he says our, he's talking about our country. He he's talking, excuse me, sir, he's talking about the federal government. I mean, it's such a basic, simple question, and you try and make it sound so bad. You ought to be, I, you ought to be ashamed to of yourself. No, you know I, what? You ought to be ashamed. Way, it's such Azar. a simple question. He said our. An hour means for the country. An hour means for the states because the states are a part of the country. Don't make it sound bad. Don't make it sound bad. Go ahead, Steve. Go ahead, back here. You just asked your question. You just asked your question in a very nasty tone. Let's go. Uh, please, Mr. President, I gave you a perfect answer. You know it. Go. We'll get right back to exposing this latest media con job. But first, I have an important message for all my viewers. The world we live in today is in flux, filled with a flood of information that's often as much gossip as fact making it hard to know what the real situation is, making it easy for people to panic and make bad decisions. The only way not to get caught up in that chaos is to have a plan allowing you to avoid dealing with empty store shelves, long lines, and in the worst case, desperate people. Use today to prepare. A great place to start is storing food in your home. I'm prepared and I ordered even more recently. With this unprecedented emergency, orders are being delayed, sometimes eight weeks or more. I urge you to add your order to mine today. Take action so you're ready for what's coming and save $70 on a two-week emergency food kit when you go to my special website, preparewithdronetech.com. Those that know what's coming are preparing today. Go to preparewithdronetech.com. That's preparewithdronetech.com.